So here we have a uh, fabric cover, which is used to keep um, our crops warm or warmer when it, we get a good ground freeze. And, uh, freeze is usually what the, um, we worry about it because the roots, uh, if they get too cold, they will freeze the plants and the plants will die. Um, so we cover them up to try to keep them warmer. I'm not sure what's in it that keeps it that way, but it does work. Yeah, and that's really about it. Um, so we're gonna uncover to see what if, if there is any damage and let them get some air and get some sun and some warmth. Um, but yeah, overnight, we just wanna make sure that they survive the cold. It's like a blanket, <laughs> keep them warm. Um, Dews. Dews. Um, monitor your weather every day um that is at least what i do I, I make sure i keep a track of what's going on in the weather so i'm not um doing things that i shouldn't be doing like extra watering um i did not water last night um or any time recently because of the cold and i don't want that extra moisture to actually freeze in the ground um, which will also cause them to the roots to freeze and then the plants will die. Um, so yeah, just no watering. Do not water. Um, I will water afterwards. Um, after? After uh, any chance of frost. Um, so is a certain temperature it goes up to that you decide to water? It's more so the night temperature that I'm more so concerned about because it's daytime, they can, you know, come back. Uh, but nighttime, if it's below 30, I will not water just so that the atmosphere is more dry um, and they don't have too much moisture that I have to worry about. And you know those temps because you monitor the weather. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but there... it's also, too, it also, it's also good to know which temps your plants are frost tolerant to. There are some plants that are more frost tolerant. They're more hardy. They're more um, adaptable to the winter time than others. Um, mustard, I was concerned about the mustard because they're more thin. Um, they're more associated with like lettuce and things like that that are um, not so frost hardy. Any other do's? Uh, do cover. Um, do mulch. I will say that um, leaf mulch is definitely your friend. Uh, it helps keep um, the environment warm. So if you don't have these types of covers, then straw or leaf mulch or um, hay or pine needles, any of those things that will accumulate warmth in the soil, um, you want to kind of put that around your plant to kind of keep it warm, keep them happy. Any don'ts in the winter? I will say don't plant things that won't survive the frost. <laughs> that's about it. I wouldn't plant things that won't survive. Um, and that's really ba basically about it. It really mm -hmm. isn't too much not to do. If you put plants down, make sure you put them down in enough time um, so they can get uh, situated in the ground and get comfortable with the temperatures uh, that are about 40, so it's just like that. Um, but anything outside of that, no. Nah. The seedlings actually did very, very well. So, <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to those who um, find it, they're struggling, but they're still staying the course? Like, what, what, any advice or any words of encouragement you'll give them? Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. Mistakes are only uh, learning processes. Um, that's about it. it no, nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect. Um, I try my best to mimic Mother Nature as much as possible um, and let things do what they do, but um, mistakes happen or, and life happens. Okay. All right, <laughs> All right Farmer Ajua, what do we have available for harvest right now? Uh, right fields? now, uh, we have fennel, we have Swiss chard, we have mustard, we have collards, um, we have some more kale until I harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cardoons, we have those. Those are like, um, it's related to artichoke, but it's kind of like a celery-ish type of um, crop. I think it's more aligned with that texture. 
Um, it's a nice crisp type of texture and it's good for like soups and stews and things like that. Um, we have kohlrabi, uh, dill, parsley, cilantro loves the cold. Um, Any more collards? More collards and collards. <laughs> and collards and collards. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't have nothing, we got collards. <laughs> We definitely got that for you. And we got red Russian kale. Um, and some Malabar spinach. We have some Malabar spinach. It's and not when, a lot, but it's a little bit. And, and when can people come and pick up from you? Um, Saturday through Wednesday. Um, at The times are 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pre-order, please. Yes, please and thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um... Also, too, I do want to actually say that the hoop houses are definitely a benefit. And that's why that's the only reason why we have Malibu spinach left, um, because they keep the, the crops warm. There's a summer spinach and they're good for um, in the summertime because spinach only likes cooler weather um, and their time is limited. So with the Malabar spinach, we have a longer um, season for them. But um, yeah, the hoop houses were definitely a benefit.